Hello guys, welcome to Muri Hari and let's begin our Thursday Unity tutorial series. Sorry for the delay, I was traveling so I didn't got much time to make this video. So today we will be discussing the basic of Unity. So if you want to make games and you had never used Unity, this video is for you. So watch the video till then and I hope you get some knowledge about Unity. If you hadn't subscribed the channel, consider it subscribing as I make weekly game tutorial and develop videos. So before we jump into Unity, let's see what is Unity. So Unity is a game engine which allows you to make games for multiple platforms like uh, Apple, Android, Xbox, Web and much more. To begin in Unity, you need to learn C Sharp programming language. So if you hadn't downloaded Unity, I had put the links in the description of this video. After installing Unity, when you open it for the first time, it will show you the recent projects. Uh, start a new project, name it and select the project's dimension. If it's a 2D, mark it 2D or if it's a 3D, then select the 3D. If you forget to select the dimensions, no worries as you can change it in the Unity Editor 2. After waiting for a while, Unity Editor will open and you will see this type of UI. So let's begin the hard stuff. Inside any game, there will be a camera which renders the gameplay. So whenever you make a project, Unity adds a default camera in it. So to see the gameplay, we need to have a light source inside our project. So now let's see the most used tabs. At the left, you will find the hierarchy tab which shows all the game objects attached to the present scene. A scene contains all the game objects like UI, main menu and many other things. Think each unique scene file as a unique level of your game. Just go to the hierarchy tab and press the right mouse button. You will find a bunch of things like 3D object, 2D object, lights and many more. For example, let's add a sphere. As you see, we have a sphere inside our scene tab. This tab shows the game environment. Don't think it as a real gameplay. At front time, you will see through the camera, not through the scene tab. To see the real gameplay, you just need to press the play button at the top center. You will see the project tab, which shows all the game assets like sprites, scripts, sound, and many more. It stores all the external files. At the right side, you will see the inspector tab, which shows all the components attached to the selected game object, like rigid body for physics, player controller scripts, and box collider. Currently, we don't have anything attached to the sphere, so let's attach a rigid body for physics and box collider so that it can interact with the environment. So as you can see, I had added the rigid body and the box collider to the given sphere and now let's test that it works the environment or not. So I had added a cube for the ground and added a box collider to it. When you play the game as there is rigid body attached to the sphere, it falls due to gravity and the cube stops the impact due to the colliders. But if we disable the ground collider, now the ball falls through it easily, like nothing is there. Similarly, you can add many things to a game object so that it can do something you want inside the game. There is a console tab which is used in debugging and it also shows the error inside your game. Lastly, the game tab shows your gameplay. The layout of these tabs may vary but if any of these tabs is missing, you can go to the window and select the general option there you will see all of these tabs. There is a special tab along with the inspector tab, the service tab which is used for in-app purchases, unity ad monetization, collaboration, cloud building and much more. So now let's make a ball bounce gameplay scene. Currently we have a game object ball and a cube for the ground detection. We just need to add a physics material. For that go to the project tab inside the assets just right click then go to create and select physics material. You will see a new physics material added inside the asset. Make a separate folder for physics and move this physics material inside the folder. Always make folders for your assets like scripts, sounds, sprites. It will save you a lot of time in development of these games as sometimes the asset gets so messed up that you cannot see where the files are. 
if you don't organize your files properly it will make your debugging a bit hard now just drag this physics material to the ball now just select the physics material go to the inspector tab and there you will see many options like dynamic friction static friction and much more uh, you need to change the dynamic friction and static friction to zero make the bounce rate one and uh, make the bounce combination to maximum so now when you play the game you will see a perfect bounce inside your game if you don't see you need to change the camera location so that it looks at the ball there are many ways in which you can do the same bounce effect like you can do it by scripting or animating the ball it's up to you what methods you choose to make the game that's it for today guys if you want me to make tutorials on some special topics comment down and i will try to make videos on those topic in the upcoming videos don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel you can also join our discord server for quick chats and dev helps and i'll see you in the next one